Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. So she has a man in the house, but she's looking for a man. Or maybe she, she's going to tell us why she's looking for a man. Let's get into it. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What's your name? Shania. Shania, where are you calling us from? Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio's in the building. Shania. Um, Columbus, Ohio. How old are you? I am 30. 30 years old. Do you have any children? I have two. And I also have custody of my niece. Uh, okay, so three kids live with you? <laughs> yep. Okay, how old are your kids? Um, 13, 3, and then my niece is 9. 13, 3, and 9. 13, your your children, do they have the same dad? No. Was you ever married? No. Nope. Why are you not with the three-year-old dad? Oh, so we have the same birthday and you look uh, at us on the I hope it's not my wife. No. I, can't drive. I think no girl, I, I apologize. I think it's mine. Okay. All right, so let's try it again. So why are you now with a three year old dad? Um, I'll be totally honest and transparent. So my youngest daughter is a one night stand baby. What? We co parent well. We just didn't take it anywhere after or after the one night stand. Uh, this woman need more than help. Now imagine your kid comes up to you and asking you how he or she comes in this world and you're gonna tell them this is how. Let's get back into it. Yeah, like. Y'all don't wear condoms and one night stands? I mean, I can explain to you the story if you want. <laughs> I want to hear it. Okay, so I was in a relationship with a guy for seven years. That was my longest relationship. Uh, we broke up, and I let loose. And yeah, I definitely should have used protection, but it was my birthday. It was his birthday. We was drunk. Yeah, we made babies. I believe in abortion, so she here, and she is a blessing. Every for transparency. There's different option. If you know, if you don't want to know that, there's other options. She chose to keep the baby. Now she's on the internet, telling the whole world, like it's like something that she, something like she should be proud about. This is not something you should be proud about. This is some, this is something that you should keep to yourself, not telling the whole world about it. Let's get back into it. Okay, so y'all co-parent well? Yes. Okay, yeah, you got some time Tonight, you gotta get situated with us. So you moving a lot, you looking around. So you gotta find with... in me. I'm a I'm a pacer. I'm sorry. Yeah, you gotta find what you're ready to do. Okay, here we go. Let me have All a right. second, because I keep moving around. <laughs> okay. So this is Shania, Columbus, Ohio, 30. What do you do for a living? I'm an Uber and Lyft driver. Uber and Lyft driver. Who picks the music? The the driver or the passenger? Um, I keep my music on what I want to hear. They can request the song and I will play it, but I play what I want to listen to. <laughs> I got into what my Uber driver one time. They told me, pull out your headphones because I'm not changing the station. No, see, I ain't like that. I'll pass you the ox cord if you, if you got a request. Okay. All right, Shania, when's your birthday or Zodiac time? March 14th. I'm a Pisces. She's a Pisces. All right, so Shania, Columbus, Ohio, 30. She has two biological kids and she's also taking care of her niece she's an uber and lyft driver um what kind of man are you looking for um an honest man it's very hard to find honesty out here um and yeah somebody who knows what they want out of life like somebody with a plan a man with a plan and an honest man everything else can be worked with what are some deal breakers for you um baby mama drama yeah Dishonesty, um, bad breath, um, and not uh, and terrible communication skills. People that um, communicate to respond but not to listen and understand. I don't like people like that. Do you have baby daddy drama? Why are no, you I do not. I don't. I don't have baby daddy. Where, drama. where are you going now, Shania? I, I'm mixing. I'm from, I'm flipping my chicken. It's just right here. I'm oh, are you cooking? <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
So if you're gonna call on a dating show, right? You have to be ready. Why are you talking to somebody now you doing you doing all this extra stuff? This is not necessary. Well enough she can cook child. And I can. Uh, in the meantime, does the guy have to look a certain way? Um, I'm big on teeth and hygiene, so can't have jacked up teeth, can't stink. Can't stink. Could he have kids already? Uh, so y'all can judge me if y'all want, but if he has kids, I would like for him to have full custody or the mother not be in the picture. Is, is your children's dads in, your, in the children's lives? My youngest father, uh, my youngest child's father is, they're both in their life. Uh, my youngest child's father is in her life more, and my oldest child's father is in her life less. So why would you want a man that can't have the setup that you have set up? Because uh, my, my baby daddy don't give me no problems. One of them I barely know, so we don't have those kind of problems. And... The other one, we have been doing this for almost 14 years, so those problems are gone. Do they all? Do they each have um, access to you if whenever they need because y'all co-parent a child? Like he can reach out to if the child's sick or if he wants a child, right? Yeah, like what? I would. Yes, I'm not one of those. Mm -mm. So I mean, we had a guy, a dope guy on the show, and he explained sometimes while well, he has no kids, why he want to date a woman with no kids, and he was like, you know, he'll never be number one when you date a woman with kids, and then. There's other men that can always um, access this woman because they share a child together. So what might not be drama to you, a guy still has to be able to conform in that manner. And that's true. And that's fine. If you don't want to deal with what I have going on, please don't waste my time because I'm very transparent about what I want what I you know expect from my partner. So if you can't do that, please just go on. Okay, so so you're so you'd rather have a guy with no kids, basically. No, I'm down to have a guy with either no kids. I would actually prefer them to have kids so they know how to, you know, deal with them, but your baby mama drama there can be no baby mama drama, like none. The first sign of it, I'm out. And what's baby mama drama to you? Um, just ratchetness, you know how some baby mothers can be, like just calling ninety million times. Um, always got their hand out, don't have nothing going on for themselves, still want to be with the child's father. It's, you know, we know, we know what baby daddy and baby mama drama is. I don't have a problem with a, a good co-parenting relationship. Um, I encourage it, you know, if I'm with someone who, in the past when I've been with people uh, with baby daddy, baby mama drama, I've encouraged them to get better with that, with that situation. But it's draining. I'm. I don't want to do it no more. I'm about to say. I'm, I'm, it seems like you've been through something with that situation. So, uh, the last guy I was with. I know one of your questions was when it was your last relationship. It was a year ago. Um, it was coming up on a year at the end of August. But he uh, he was a pretty good guy, but he wasn't a stand up father. I was kind of blinded by it because it was a new relationship and everything. Um, but I kind of got to see what they were talking about, you know, the baby mamas and why they would be mad and stuff like that. And ultimately, that's the, why we ended because it's just like, you know, your baby mamas are mad because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. And but you over here doing it, which is weird. And I can't respect that. So, you know, take care of your kids and maybe in the next lifetime we can try this again. OK, uh, let's go to appearances. Does the guy have to look a certain way? No, like I said, I don't. As long as you you keep your teeth clean, your mouth clean, and you smell good, I'm cool with that. What about if you got to make a certain amount of money? No, I mean you better make have enough money to take care of yourself, because unless you know we real deep into it, I'm not taking care of you. Okay, you've been doing it kind of all night because you've been standing up, but let's officially do the Kendra cam. Okay. All right. Okay. Shania, so your last relationship, you already told us about that. Why do you think, when was the last time you was intimate with a guy? You don't have to answer. Okay. Uh, I said I was going to be honest when, I, when you asked this question. Um, today. Who did you have sex with today? Uh, somebody that I'm dating. So you're dating somebody? I'm dating. 
So are you looking for more people to date? No, I'm looking for Mr. Right. But so dating doesn't become Mr. Right? Doesn't have opportunity? Mm-hmm. So you're dating you're dating a person right now. I'm dating people right now. Oh, you're dating people. So I mean, you're single, you haven't which is fine. So you had sex with a guy today that you're dating. So why can't this guy, what's wrong with him to be your boyfriend? Nothing. He haven't asked me. Then why are you sleeping with him? Because I was, you know, I have needs. Do you want a boyfriend? I mean, do you want a, do you want a solid relationship? I do want a solid relationship, yep. Listen, it's your life. You, you, you got to live it. You know, after this exchange, we'll probably never talk again. But I do think this... You know, and people yeah. get a pushback, but I don't think it's a bad rule. Okay. If you desire to have a relationship, maybe not have sex until you're in a relationship. And then this way you can know if this could mature into a relationship. If not, you'll just have a whole bunch of energy of men that you're potentially sleeping with and it's not going to grow into anything. You say you want something outside of what you currently have. So maybe you got to try something different to potentially get that. Maybe I will take your advice. And I will also say that I'm not sleeping with multiple people. <laughs> well, you're the one that presented it. So you say you're dating I just told me. you the truth. You asked me when. I told you when. I told you. you are, I mean, well, you told us. You didn't have to. Dang, I hope it's not my wife. But wait, who was that in the background? <laughs> we saw a guy. Who's that in the background? <laughs> Who's that in the background? Speak. You can talk. You've been talking to me the whole time. I have. I, I told you who I was. <laughs> That's the guy you had sex with today? Wow. <laughs> so you so the guy you had sex with today is in your house and you're on my show looking for a new guy? I'm on my I'm on your show to tell you that I'm single and if you know I find You're on my show to look for a new guy because that's what this show is about. Okay. So so no, you know, I'm on the show just to put myself out there, yes? Yeah, you're on this you're on the show to meet a new guy. That's what the show is about. Let's be clear. Now, what kind of guy in the right mindset after seeing something like this, and then you you going you willing to date this woman? If you are willing to date this woman, then something is wrong with you. Let's get back into it. Okay, we're not gonna circle around the fact of the show. Right, you come on the show to meet whomever. If you're into women, you're into men. So you want to meet a guy while you have the guy you slept with in your house what kind of quality man you think is going to hit you up <laughs> so, i'm just being honest i mean i mean i'm being honest too what kind of quality man you think is going to hit you up i don't know you tell me kendra not one okay a man that might will hit up that a man will hit you up that want to have sex with you but not a man that's going to take you serious not absolutely not there is no man that's watching this right now, a quality man that's going to hit you up and take you serious with the guy you slept with this morning in the background while you on this show. And if that's what you desire, then that's what you desire. It's your life. But you're going to have to own up to the fact that you got a lot of stuff to get together. Very trifling. If you want to, and if you want to, if you want to attract a trifling guy, then so be it. Give him your Instagram page or your Facebook page. <laughs> so I just, so I do want to know what makes me trifling for. Your order this, okay. This guy is not my boyfriend, and he knows that. Yeah, you have sex with him today. You think that makes it sound even better? I mean, yeah, no, it doesn't make it sound any better. But he is the only one that I'm sleeping with, and I was. And that's fine. What I'm I, telling I, you is, I, any any guy worth anything that has his stuff together is not going to take you seriously. A guy, listen, but you're going to get a lot of men that's going to reach out to you because they're going to want to have sex with you. They see how you get down. So you I don't get down, Kendra. You don't know the history with me and this man. I know, enough to, my, I, I, I know enough to know the guy you slept with today is in the background. So any quality man that is concerned about the woman that's on his arms, that's going to take him around his family, his friends, his co-workers is not going to wipe you up in a situation like this. <laughs> now, men will hit you up, but they're not going to take you serious. So if you want that man, give him your Instagram page. It's your life. <laughs> but no man, that, no, no man that has to represent something in life. And because I think sometimes what we don't understand is quality men and quality women, they think about how you represent them. 
Right. And they bring you to certain environments. Okay. But if men are going to reach out to you because they see how you get down. So if you want men to reach out to you, get to them. It's your okay. world. Nope. I don't want them to reach out to me at how you putting it, but thank you. Can you understand that, though? Okay, well, say goodbye. Look. This man walking in the house, like, I'm just here for the chicks. Nothing more, nothing less. But now she's giving it to the guy without the guy become a, become a boyfriend. She's giving it for free. Now she's expecting a man to take her serious, taking care of her and her kids. When you give the chicks for free. <laughs> hey, listen guys, come down below what you think about this. As always, I do appreciate each and every one of you guys for taking the time to watch the video. If you're new here, once again, welcome to the channel. And before you leave, don't forget to show some love to the channel by hitting the like and the sub button if you haven't done so already. Hey, listen, I'm out. <laughs>